welcome back guys so in this session we will see how we can uh, configure and uh, do a setup into the visual studio code to execute the typescript uh, what you call typescript program so it's a very basic setup that we need to understand and uh, the thing about uh, typescript is that it is not executable by itself so because there is no kind of a runner for that so we need to convert that into a javascript so from typescript to javascript and then we have to execute that javascript program okay so for that few basic prerequisites are required so one of the main requisite is the ide so visual studio code is an open source from microsoft you can download as usual way and uh, for the typescript we need few stuff for that so for, for that let me go one by one so one is node.js is required so node.js is an executable uh, what do you call program which you can download directly from here because I'm using Mac operating system it is uh, detecting as Mac but if you are using Windows you can deal with it and the and the steps that I'm going to show is applicable for both Windows and Mac operating system so irrespective of what operating system you have you can just follow the steps that um, which we will discuss now okay so you download this and install as usual way like any other application that you install okay and after this you need kind of a npm package of the typescript so typescript is an npm package so as you can see here so you can just open your command prompt and you can just install by using this command npm install hyphen g that is global and then typescript it will install the latest version of your application uh, typescript which is the stable version like here at this moment the the typescript version is 3.8.3 .3. okay so you uh, so you install by this time the node.js and then the typescript from the command line okay so once you install that uh, how do you know that it is installed already so there is an option tsc hyphen v so you can see i'm on the latest version the same thing so whatever version by the time you are watching this video you will be seeing that version okay so like that so now as we install the typescript let's move to the visual studio code okay now here what i will do i'll create a new uh, what do you call new uh, new folder okay so let me create here so i'll just give something called as uh, sample ts program or sample ts code something i'm just writing that okay now what i will do i will go to the visual i will go to the terminal of that path so here is my uh, folder directory and here what i will do code space dot okay so if you do that it opens the visual studio code okay else what you can do directly you just open this visual studio code uh, id and what you can do you can go to the file menu and then open and then wherever your directory is there you can directly open that okay so there are two ways you can do that so now we need a program actually one typescript program so you can get online a various types of um, how the syntax is of the typescript you can get it in online so i'm not going to go that deep inside it is very much similar to c sharp or java or you already know javascript it's pretty much same so only just the syntaxes will be differing so what i will do at this moment i'll create a new file and i'll give something let's say sample and the typescript extension is ts like for java it is dot uh, java for c sharp it is dot uh, cs for the javascript it is dot js right the same thing it is sample dot ts now here i'm going to create a class okay now this class i will make it as add just some name and then i'll create two variables so here variables normally how do we do uh, we say int x or else um, like number x or something so int x equal to zero or something we declare the variables but here it is like the variable name colon and then the type okay and then the same way i'll create another variable x y because we are going to add two variables and then i'll create a constructor okay so for this what you need so constructor normally in java or c shop we have to give the class name but here you have to write the constructor as a keyword okay and here i will pass these two variables okay 
so whenever i will create an object to access these methods i will pass these two numbers simple and then here what i will do i'll just call this dot x see it is pretty much same as any other language you know so far okay so this dot y equal to y fine so my constructor is ready now what is the thing i need to display it so the add actually the actual add function i need to see show it now what here i will do so if somebody will create an object with the two numbers and they will say just display then here i need to process this particular variable okay so at this moment let's display those numbers for now so console dot log so this is to print into the console actually so here what i can do this dot x the same way i'll print for y as well and this is y just i'm printing two variable names done my display function is also done now here this is all about my okay fine now here what i'm going to do i will create a i'll do one thing let so i'll create one object of this particular class okay now here i will say new add and i have to pass two variables right two variable value okay here and then what i will do here add dot display okay add dot display that's it okay i can do this one now my program is ready here okay w one thing here what we can do after printing we can print even this one also dot log and here i can say sum equal to oops sorry this dot x plus this dot y fine i'll just print that as some value actually here fine that's it okay so now my my sample code is ready okay you can just even try with just console dot log hello world or something so i wanted to just uh, give you guys an overview of what exactly a class looks like how is the constructor and how do we call a method so all these things i wanted to show so i've made this program actually okay so we are ready with the sample ts file now what we will do after this we need to do few setups so for that what i will do i'll go to the terminal so either you can go to the external terminal or else you have an option inside the visual studio code you can do so for that you need to click on control tilt so tilt sign is that so here what i will do so as you know at the beginning we have already installed the typescript right so which gives us the tsc command the tsc hyphen v we did right so the same thing what i will do tsc hyphen hyphen init so i will initialize so this will create a ts config dot json file so as you can see here successfully created the json file now let's see what is inside the json so you can see there are a lot more options are there let's not worry about all these things i'll comment it everything and here only two things which we need so here strict true you can keep it so strict is kind of if your syntax error or anything it will not pass it it will throw an error and here is something you need to worry about so out directory so as you can see what is this out directory so this is nothing but once you convert the typescript into the javascript where exactly it will convert it that one because we don't want to convert everywhere right we want to keep a folder structure so whatever the js it will convert that should stay inside this out directory that's it and there is another thing source map actually so this source map i need to make it as true so there is no, not one what i can do i can directly go here and i can do source map true you can give your own way also okay so my ts config.json is ready so it will just tell you which folder you need to outdate that js conversion so this is done now here we need two more files to execute this one okay so 
uh, one thing I want to say so if it is a small program and uh, you just want to execute it so you have two options so what I can do here so this TSC command is what it's a, tra a transpiling command actually this one so what it will do whenever I will write TSC and this file name it will convert it into a JS file so we'll see so hold on for now now for this the next thing that we will be going to create a launch.json now for this what I will do either you can directly right click and you can create it or else what you can do you click on function f5 so as you can see here cannot because corresponding javascript is not found means as i told typescript itself cannot be executed it need a javascript conversion actually so for that what i will do i will click on this open launch.json so as you can see if i go to the folder structure so this is the visual studio folder structure or the explorer and here as you can see so it is downloading few of the command actually so let's wait for some time okay so my uh, everything is set up here so as you can see it is giving you a default uh, launch.json file but we will change it a bit actually here so as you can see type is node request is launch uh, uh, this one and then launch program you can just give the name of this project so that is sample ts code you can just do skip files you can keep as it is so program is something so here i'll add another stuff here that is as you can see free launched pre-launch task so this will tell you once you launch this program or execute it what is going to happen so what it will do it will transpile this one so tsc command and here it will first build okay build the ts config file ts config file so what is ts config file ts config file is nothing but it will give you way to convert this one so tsc will transpile from ts file to js file and weight it will convert is depending on the ts config.json file that's that is all about that so this program is basically we need to give the executable file from where the execution will start so what we can do here we can give workspace root actually workspace capital r o o t so workspace root slash our file what is our file sample dot ts that's it okay now out file is something where you are converting that so it's default it is coming i can give the out directory which i have given in the ts config that's it okay so here it is now let's again execute the f5 command so as you can see it is executing that so you can see here it is executing your file so let's go to the sample.ts and here this dot x this dot y two three and then this sum is 23 oh because it is taking as uh, what do you call uh, number uh, it is actually appending this to okay so as you can see i have given it bracket so it is not appending instead of it is summing this two up so as you can see two three and then the sum is five that's how you're going to execute it okay so you needed a ts config.json and then launch and as you can see here out our one out directory is created under that this is the javascript conversion actually because it's a simple program that's why you are not seeing much difference but um, in a in uh, big programs you might see a lot of typescript and the javascript program changes in that okay so like these things you can do so there is one more thing also which i wanted to tell you guys so either you can click on the uh, function f5 to execute that there is one more way so you can go to this runner and here you can click on this and then it will execute your code also as it is as you can see here so this is the run command
now there are uh, just one thing I want to add here so as you can see like TSC build there is one more thing also TSC watch command I will show you that uh, there is another way so you can go to the run command sorry terminal command so here is terminal menu under this you can see run build task okay so if you click on this you will get two options one is a TSC build which I already mentioned here pre-launch task there is one more watch command let's click on this and you can see it's compiling in the watch mode means on the live it is compiling as you enter the text it will compile keep on compiling let's see what it is doing so let's see if I create file and then I will save it so as you can see here no errors because watching for the file changes but there is no error but let's say I will do something here and then I will save it here you can see before it no error was there right but now you can see so many errors so live it is showing you the errors actually here if you don't want anything just enter and then you can just go and save it that's it so it will so in the terminal you can come back and you can see whatever you want here now let's say sometimes people might have another question if in the terminal this thing is going on then how do I execute other I mean how do I execute different things so I'll show you see now we are in watch mode right now we have seen two ways of execution one is by clicking on F5 after all these folders are configured another is you can go to the runner and click on run another option is there very simple option you can click on this plus sign so here you can see different uh, so you can have multiple instances of the what do you call uh, the terminal here so you need not to only worry about one because your this terminal is watch only so that's why I'm creating another here what you can do TSC and then you can just create like this sample.ts so this will transpile into a JS file so it transpiled already now what you need to do you can execute like this so let's see where this JS file so because I didn't provide any path that's why it created here sample.js so what I can do node sample.js so node is a program which can execute your JavaScript file directly now if you click it see you can see even this one this is simpler way but normally people don't like this way they sh sh the previous method which I told you by using this launch.js and json ts config sample or ts is anyway the program itself so this is the way you can execute so these are different types of um, executions of uh, TypeScript so this you can use even for development and even if you are like from uh, testing background and if you are planning to go with any kind of uh, let's say Cypress or protractor based any kind of automation testing then this basic concept will definitely help you guys so this is kind of the step one to go ahead with the protractor with TypeScript um, what you call framework or whatever writing the automation script okay so that's it guys for now and we will see more options and um, if you are willing to go with protractor and typescript um, stuff or, and if you are planning to start or you want to know more about that you can watch my other videos uh, from the playlist okay so hope this is helpful guys see you again next time